Now, ITV1's new medical drama, Malpractice, aired last night and follows the story of a stressed doctor at the centre of a med medical investigation. This is after a patient's family accused her of negligence. I didn't watch it, but you're gripped. Gripped already. Yeah. It's so, so good. Um, and what was interesting... Well, I mean, I love anything about... I love the... You know, I watch all the documentaries on hospitals and stuff. But it was so good because um, the story anyway is so good and the decisions, she's really overworked, she's on her own and all these emergencies happened at once. You know, she's got someone who's tried to kill himself and then she gets a, uh, someone that's brought in that's been shot and she has to make these decisions and rely on other people. And it brought it home to me as well, the stress that they are under because as much as that is a drama, I'm sure a lot, you know, a lot of it, most of it is, is real life. And it was the stress of it all. And, and then she's investigated because of the choices that she made. And even then I thought, oh, it's so, it's just so difficult. I just can't, I don't know how I feel about them being investigated. Because for the choices it, that they because make. Because they're human and... They're human, they're overworked, and, they're tired. Yeah, and they and make mistakes. we all make mistakes. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't really... It wasn't necessarily her mistake. It's... But she doesn't want to tr throw other staff members under the bus mm. and... It, it, honestly, watch it. Well, it is. It's on it's ITVX, really so you can catch up with it. Um, it was interesting, though, because um, Steve Barkley, the health secretary, he's believed to now be talking about giving nurses and doctors and healthcare workers body cams, you know, like the police have and ambulance crews have, because they're, you know, the, the, the cases of um, assault, Jane, particularly sexual assault, yeah. in the hospitals is on the rise. Yeah, it's yeah. a really big problem. Well, I mean, there's assault and, and also, I mean, I was reading a terrible story the other day about um, a, a stroke victim, a, a woman who's in a ward and got sexually assaulted in, in the middle of the night. Um, and she obviously couldn't move. And, of course, no body cam on any staff is going to help that because it was somebody, a stranger, that came in. But, um, but also the physical assaults on, on nurses and doctors oh. in, in A&E mm. is huge now with the sort of amount of people coming in who are drunk or mm. drugged up or whatever. So I think, in a way, there's uh, police, police wear body cams and I think there's an argument for it in A&E. What, what would trouble me if I was just in having an operation, I wouldn't want my operation to be... I mean, what if you're having chest surgery? Yeah, well, or, that's taking it another, know, yeah, a step further. So it, people are saying, well, OK, if there's malpractice, and a lot of people, you know, try to claim compensation for malpractice or try to prove malpractice, they're now saying, well, what about if operations were filmed? You know, so cameras in But you'd have the to get permission theater. of the yeah. person whose operation it is, surely. Mm. I mean, maybe there's an argument more for audio, so if it's something like, I don't know, for example, where the surgeon says, let's do this, and the, his deputy or her deputy says, well, I think we should do this, and they overrule, and it turns out to be the wrong decision, all that could be caught on audio. Mm. But, I mean, it is, like you said, they're, they're human beings and they, they make mistakes, but then also there are some people that make huge silly mistakes, mistakes or huge yeah. mistakes mm. that result in a lifetime of care mm. that might not have been needed. And in that case, I do understand why people sue because they're, you know, they need financial help mm. because maybe the person that was the main earner in the family has been rendered... You or know, somebody unable needs to lifetime work. care and yeah. you can't afford that. So I understand it for that, but I also worry that we are just becoming... The, uh, just a blame nation. Blame like, culture, you, yeah. You, just every, there's no accidents anymore. There's just no accidents anymore. But as soon as something happens, you go, there's see <laughs> that. Yeah, well, you can you understand, see can't you, Frankie, if that, you know, we all say they're only human, everyone makes mistakes, but if that was your child, say, yeah. who then is debilitated for the rest of their mm. lives because of an, a mistake made by a surgeon, I think that's what it is. You understand you know, why when families they're... want, A, to somebody to say, we're sorry, we made a Yeah, mistake, I get it in that instance, And B, definitely. compensation should you need it for medical care, mm. lifetime medical care. I think that's where it's different, isn't it? I think if, unless you've been in that situation, it's kind of hard to comment on it. Um, I kind of agree with Jane in the A&E, 100%, they're put in situations. But then again, you're being filmed in vulnerable situations, I don't know. But um, I have known a friend of a friend who went in for an operation and it went wrong. And, and now her life has completely changed and she couldn't work and, you know, you need the money and I understand why. And mm. it, that whole thing would have been mm. so much more straightforward if there was 
video footage of the operation mm. and they can say, right, yes, it was someone's mistake or no, it's just one of those things I and then everybody Jane, moves like, on. But even if it's one of those things... Individual, if you're, you're not really suing the individual. No, really, no exactly. You? It, it, it's primarily trust. about getting insurance to cover for the, the consequences. And um, Adam Kay, you know, who wrote the book, This Is Going To Hurt, I'm pretty sure, um, and somebody who's read it more recently than me might correct me, but... Pretty sure there's a thing in there where he said, as a doctor, his experience was that if you apologise to people... I mean, obviously, I don't think he was talking about some major mistake, mm -hmm. but if you just say, look, I was exhausted, sorry, I shouldn't have da-da-da-da, mm -hmm. people are generally far more receptive. What they don't like is if you, if you push them away, keep them in the dark mm -hmm. and don't tell them what's but going on. But then it's also we're not really actually touching the <coughs> problem, are we? We're kind of trying to put something round mm -hmm. a problem that kind of half thingy, I can't think of the words, but yeah. we're not fixing the problem. The well, problem is really, they're overworked, I mean, they're just, overtired. Just filming and... an operation doesn't, wouldn't prevent... No. No, no a something happening, a yeah. mistake. A genuine, yeah. genuine, yeah. genuine mistake. Absolutely. And there's probably no-one more upset than them themselves oh, yeah. if something goes wrong. They go in there to save people's lives. Absolutely. Just um, we did ask you, them. do you think doctors should wear body cams? And 66% of you say yes, mm. 34... No, it's an interesting, yeah. it's an mm. interesting concept, isn't it? But, well, yeah. That's doctors, not surgeons. Yes, mm. yes, exactly. Yeah.